Hello again YouTube and I'm back with a uh, video on a, a demonstration of AC coupling and, and exactly uh, what it does. Um, again on my previous video I think I, I gave a brief explanation of what AC coupling is but I'll just kind of give a rehash uh, to those folks that may have not seen that other video. Again AC coupling uh, in a solar application is when your micro grid tie inverters are connected to an inverter charger uh, on the AC output side and being that it's an AC coupled system the microgrid tie inverters synchronize with this inverter charger and provides power to critical loads uh, that are connected to the output the AC output side of this inverter through something called a, uh, a load set or I mean a sub panel um, or in my case, I have a uh, transfer switch that's acting as a sub-panel. And uh, again, that's the benefit of AC coupling. And also that when the loads are satisfied and there's excess power, that energy is sent to your battery bank. And I uh, just kind of want to demonstrate that um, uh, briefly. I'm going to shut off my uh, little cheap grid tie inverter there. Okay, here you can see that the battery voltage is 25.8 uh, and, you know, climbing because of my battery is being charged by a, uh, a couple of panels that are, that's not, that doesn't have a grid tie associated, a micro grid tie associated with them directly. Here I have power coming in from the utility through this 60, uh, this, uh, I'm sorry, 30 amp breaker here. And so essentially when I kill this, this particular inverter charger will simply think that I've lost power to the grid and, and, and start the inverting process. You can see here that the, my battery voltage is climbing because, um, you know, there is, um, I got some uh, solar panels associated with it. And this is my DC couple side of it. So I have two solar panels that are providing power to the battery. And not only that, but, um, uh, power coming from my micro inverters as well. So I'm going to shut off this particular switch. Now, because this system, this inverter charger has an automatic transfer switch built in, uh, now I have switched over and if you look right here it says inverting. So I am inverting uh, power and I'm taking, uh, because of my loads, I have five uh, amps, a little over five amps, almost six amps coming out of the battery bank. Uh, because that's powering my critical loads right now. My critical loads consist of uh, refrigerator, freezer, um, my office, uh, you know, the bedrooms, and you know, the uh, the garage and stuff like that. So essentially, it's it's feeding power. It's taking power uh, uh, from the battery bank. At this point, it is uh, 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 five amps worth, and the voltage has dropped to twenty five point five. And uh, as you can see up here, it's inverting, and it's so, again, this is the how much that's coming out of the battery bank. Now, because this is switched over, my grid tie inverters, has they, they've temporarily switched off because this particular inverter charger has had, had flipped over. And so it broke, it broke the connection with my microinverters, at least briefly enough for them to be knocked offline for five minutes. And so in about five minutes, I'm going to pause the video. In about five minutes, I'm going to show you uh, what happens in an AC couple system. Um, essentially, what's going to happen is these, these amps um, should decrease to the point to where I'm almost using no amps because of the power will be coming from my micro grid tie inverters connected to my uh, solar panels out there on my pole mount array. And the voltage uh, will, you know, will, uh, will climb. Okay, and okay, I'm gonna pause the video and come back in five minutes. Okay, YouTube, I'm back, and okay, five minutes has passed or thereabouts, and what you see now, you see my voltage is at 26.0. My grid ties have come back online, as you can see now. I am feeding the loads in my home, and um, I have uh, 10.6 amps coming in uh, to my battery bank, as a matter of fact. So um, right now it's still inverting. So uh, my grid ties are, my micro grid ties are online. 
um, after the, uh, the, the, the switch over. So it's essentially, when I kill the power here from the incoming utility, this particular Magnusine inverter uh, through the automatic transfer switch switched over to inverting. And once that switch over took place, the micro grid tie inverters were knocked offline. And they were offline uh, for about five minutes and then once they once they come offline you can see here that before it was a negative uh, percentage coming out of my battery or a negative amount of amps coming out and now there's a positive 10.4 uh, volts and not only that you can see my voltage is climbing okay to 27.3 and 27.4 so if I don't have enough loads uh, within uh, on my uh, on my system to uh, to utilize the excess power coming in, then what you see it will go to my battery bank, and this will steadily climb. As you can see, it's it's climbing ever so slowly, but it's climbing. Now, if I turned off all of the loads, it would actually climb really fast. Uh, I mean, I mean, alarmingly fast. So that's why you know this system has the software that does frequency shifting and uh, it will frequency shift to about 60.5 hertz and it will knock the grid ties offline and uh, right now it's stabilized at 27.4 volts um, now right now it's it's okay right now with 27.4 um, you know that's just above floating so that's that's not a problem but if it gets up to 28 volts and 29 volts then we have an issue and then that's when the frequency shift will kick in. And if that doesn't work, then I have my fail safe. Um, I could put the cover on and I kind of labeled it so anybody didn't, you know, would come in and see what it, what it actually is. It's a battery over voltage fail uh, protection system fail safe relays. And so at that point, this, this particular voltage monitoring relay will kick in and it'll, it'll, uh, it'll cut off uh, the grid ties. Now, uh, you see right there, the voltage has climbed to 27.8. So, you know, you see how steadily it's climbing, 27.9. Okay, this is the power that's coming in from my grid tie inverters. And because uh, there's no, uh, uh, there's not enough loads to consume all of the power coming in from my solar panels. It, you see, it's, it's already at 28. Now, if you look over here, you'll notice, okay, my relay just kicked in. It, cut, it knocked off the power uh, from my microgrid tie inverters, and you can see that now the voltage is back down to 26.2, and this particular relay is down now at a, a normal operation because it's way below the threshold now. That, it was almost instantaneous. Uh, you know, I modified the time delay to about like three seconds, so essentially, when this gets up to like 28 volts, um, then you know that that this voltage monitoring relay will kick on those fail-safe relays, um, and then disconnect from the micro grid tie inverters, and now we're back at safe voltage levels. It's still climbing. It'll start the process of climbing again. If you look here uh, at my amps, now you see that I'm pulling about negative five amps uh, coming from the battery bank. Okay, so and it will again. It will start the process uh, all over again after five minutes uh, when my um, uh, micro grid tie inverters come back online. Okay, YouTube. That was just a brief demonstration on AC coupling, what it does, um, and how you know this fail-safe relay actually uh, works uh, comes into play. Okay, hopefully uh, you know somebody got some useful information and uh, take care, YouTube.